Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zan Ta of Reaper Products. This screencast will showcase how to create a custom ceiling based generic family. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zan Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Revit 2017 under the Recent Files window. If I click New under Families and scroll down, there is a section for generic model creation content. And the one we're going to work with is generic model ceiling based. We'll click open. And you'll notice you have two reference planes that define origins. So that insertion point intersection is right here. And you have an object that's acting as a ceiling, if you will. If we head over to the front elevation and type in ZA. For zoom out, you'll see the reference level and you'll see the ceiling to give you the context that you need to build. So if I'm creating a ceiling custom object, what we're basically saying is you're creating any kind of family that you want, generic shape, whatever, and using it as a ceiling based object, meaning it only shows up if there's a ceiling. So let's say, for example, we create a custom piece of decoration that we're putting up on the ceiling. Uh, let's use the extrusion command and we'll keep it simple. We use the line tool and we'll do something interesting like this. And we'll trim the corner, clean this up. And then we'll use the pick method with an offset, say one inch offset. And we'll do this. We'll head over to the front elevation and finish it and change it to a shaded mode. We'll select that object, pull it up so that it aligns and locks to that ceiling, and then pull the bottom down. If we need to, we can create a reference plane that defines the bottom of that object, and we can set up a dimension that controls the thickness of that particular object. So we're going to say um, extrusion thickness like so. Then we'll take this object and align and lock the face of the bottom to that and hold it. If we look at this in 3D, we can see that it's a custom shape like so. So how do we use it in a project? All we need to do is save the file and we'll call it custom generic model ceiling based one. Hit save, and now we can load it into a project. So we'll say new project, architectural is fine. But head over to the ceiling view, plan view, level one. And we have to create a ceiling. So I'll use the ceiling command. And since we have no objects that are room bounding, we can't use automatic ceiling method. We have to use sketch ceiling method. I'll create a simple rectangular ceiling. The type can be any one of the three that they give you, but you can make your own. Let's do Jipboard. Oh, by the way, if you're using the Jipboard, make sure under the preview, under the structure, and the material for Gypsum Wallboard, it actually has a surface pattern. By default, they don't have it assigned. And if you don't check this, what ends up happening is that it looks like when you finish the ceiling command, it creates the ceiling, but it doesn't look like it's there when you're in plan of view because nothing physically is visible. So I'm going to change that pattern. Um, so you can see it and hit the green check mark. Now if I go and I zoom in, you can start to see that chipboard pattern. And if I shade it, there you go. That's your simple ceiling. How do I take that generic model ceiling-based custom family that we created earlier and use it in this project? We'll do control tab on the keyboard to toggle back to that family and load it into the project. Now that it's in the project, you see that I'm, I'm still in level one floor plan and won't let me place it because I don't have a ceiling and it can't see the ceiling. So I'll switch to the ceiling. I'll go back to families and I'll go to generic models. And we'll right click the one that we made and say create an instance. Now you notice it automatically knows to be hosted by that ceiling. So I can create as many as I want for some kind of decorative design. And if we head over to a 3D view and look underneath, we can start to see our design. Um, and then lastly, since this is something very decorative, 
Let's jump back over to the family. Let's select that object and give it some material. And so we'll assign it a material parameter and we'll call it decorative material. Now in the family types window, we can go here under material and do a search for, I don't know, let's say acrylic. We don't have one in the family, but we do have it in the actual Revit um, library system. So we'll pick acrylic and then we'll go into changing the color to say, I don't know, red. And the surface pattern to be this one and the color to be red as well. And if it gets cut, that's the pattern and the color is red. Apply, hit OK. Now you can see what it looks like with a little bit of color pop to it. And then we'll save it and load it back into the project and overwrite the ones that we have. If we look in 3D, you now can see that's what it looks like. If we switch it to realistic, this is what the acrylic looks like. Now we didn't assign any other custom material information for the realistic view setting, so it's going to default to being a clear acrylic. Uh, and so if I switch back to shaded, you're going to see that it's colored. And that's it. That's how you create a custom generic model ceiling-based family. Thanks for watching.